My cheek was shattered. So my scar is my eyebrow, and then it goes over a little bit further. When you see somebody get shot in the head, you want to get involved. There was no life left in this boy that was with me. Gunfire altered all of their lives during the deadliest mass shooting in modern American history. Nearly five months later, the school shooting in Parkland, Florida, brought their terror right back. I had an automatic reaction. I couldn't control it. I went into the bathroom. I started vomiting. I was on the floor in a fetal position for two hours. They know what these children are going through and the long road to recovery. Mother of two, Chelsea Romo, still has many surgeries to get through after shrapnel tore through both of her eyes, initially blinding her. I thought about as my daughter grew up and not seeing her get married or seeing her become a woman and seeing her face as she matures, like, oh, it's crossed my mind. And that's why now I thank God every day. Whee. She is now laser focused on simply seeing her children grow. Survivors Heather Goose and Christine Caria are helping other survivors while nursing psychological wounds. Goose spent hours holding bullet riddled strangers as their lives slipped away. He got shot in the back of the head, so I reached under and I was holding a jeans jacket to the back of his head. The jacket had dropped and my finger was in the bullet hole in the back of his head. Paige Melanson was hit in the elbow. Her mother shot in the chest. She's still in the hospital, awaiting her 10th surgery. These survivors agree America's leaders have not done enough to tackle a uniquely American problem. I mean, after the Las Vegas shooting, they said it's not the right time to talk about guns. After the Texas shooting, they said it's not the right time to talk about guns. After Parkland, oh, let them grieve. They don't, it's not the time. When is going to be the time? We all don't want to see babies die. We don't want to go to a concert or a church and feel like we're going to get killed. We can do better than this as a nation. Karia, a mother of two, is convinced a ban on semi-automatic assault-style weapons and bump stocks is a good start. Her conviction so strong, she became the president of the Las Vegas chapter of the Brady campaign against gun violence. I'm very pro-Second Amendment. I love guns. Heather Goose never thought new gun legislation was needed until being covered in the blood of strangers. Do you have a problem with AR-15 assault-style rifles? Yeah, I have, a, I have a problem with any, with a killing machine. You have a problem with bump stocks? 100%. And why is it hard for you to say we need to ban AR assault style weapon? If people hear us say we want to get rid of one certain type of gun, all they hear is you want to take my guns away. Are you trying to take their guns away? No. No. 100% no. But is this a killing machine? Yes. Is it being used to commit mass murder? Yes. You know what? We need to start somewhere. But not everyone who experienced that Vegas mass shooting believes that new gun legislation is the key. Heather Goose knows that all too well. She has lost friends over her new gun stance, and she says she has been feeling that spear of anger from trolls on the Internet.